been a really long time that we are <laughs> uh, since last time we were here in the eastern farm and quite a lot have been changed and um, gone forward but uh, we'll get back to toes and just now giving giving my horses a little bit catanamous a little bit you know exercise I've been neglecting them quite a bit but let's see here so okay we are ready to ready to um, get this grass cut so yeah I have made a big decision with this with this and uh, uh, concerning the cows also so I am moving the bales so I am not going to do any loose silence at the beginning yeah so that is one thing so we can sell a few of our equipment away and uh, probably probably get some free slots because I'm struggling a little bit with those and maybe later we move the move to uh, loose stuff but anyway let's take a look here so this is a new field also so this is for the cow uh, coming cows so this is just grass I planted grass on here so the, it's a quite quite big field and uh, that grass field that we are going to cut today will be sorghum in the spring or oats and this will be sorghum or oats we'll see which way we go and uh, then the here is another field so this will be corn and uh, i think i'm gonna ch chaff it up you know make corn silage out of this one yeah so this was a pretty good thing and uh, we got um, we got a uh, nice amount of rocks out of those and got a little bit of coal gold from that and uh, yeah the uh, our gardening thing that is producing quite nice money so we are paying out our loan all, all the time but uh, obviously we need to make a just a little bit investment for the cows and uh, i think we need to move these guys out of that that area they are all alone and a little bit closer to our home here yeah these are uh, but they have company from each other so as you can see here I have shaved this area and uh, put the grass on the side fermenting silos we have I think we have something like 800,000 liters of silage waiting to be sold on that 
yeah that we will do and this area will we will start developing that cow area but i'm thinking that uh, i think i'm gonna because it's end of the year i think i'm gonna start pretty small and just uh, get uh, maybe few few dairy cows just uh, calves and uh, breed uh, you know breed them up a little bit during the winter and uh, next year if we have a nice amount of money so let's say we got <laughs> near a million liters of silage nine five five nine yeah pretty good waiting there yeah so yeah um maybe next year we have a little bit less loan and uh, then we will probably uh, get a little bit modern or bigger bigger barns and get the beef cattle in but uh, yeah all the fields are good to go fertilized this these have weeds but uh, I will sort th these out uh, during the uh, uh, springtime that we're gonna spray and then we're gonna fix a little bit of the nitrogen also yeah and uh, what do I have on my list here I, I am 100% sure that I'm forgetting something and uh, I haven't put <laughs> put it up on my nose, but uh, yeah. So I I did uh, buy a new trailer. I have bought also all sorts of stuff, and probably you haven't seen seen everything. So I think I will, we're gonna just jump around a little bit. So I have made seeds, by the way. Yeah, seed is coming to the uh, to our huge garden center so that is pretty good I made about uh, what did I make 102k of seeds and uh, I will make more if if we need some over there because yeah but we have uh, also uh, put a little bit of grain on the uh, flour mill and there's quite a bit of change over there also so yeah all sorts of stuff and uh here's a new trailer here for the potatoes and uh, that field is obviously harvested and put <coughs> into the production and uh what else uh yeah so all the fields are good they are ready to go and also i have uh solved the uh, solid fertilizer issue but we can take a look uh, during this episode of that yeah, I need to take Amos out also in a bit. Yeah, let's. I uh, will leave you dirty so I can, I can, I can see which is which. Yeah, so um, I think I will uh, call Mike and uh, he will get to work with the uh, mowing and. Uh, we move to that area and i think uh, yeah i will show the uh, changes as we go to, to the town and uh, to the dealership we need to uh, you know sell a little bit of that extra equipment away so i will see you a little bit later yeah, Mike is mowing like crazy over there now, and we're gonna get a few bales out of that field. Pretty good yield seems so. Yeah, so this will go also because uh, we're gonna get a decent oak wagon for next harvest. So that will go. And uh, here is a <laughs> I just uh, took a look of the last episode because last one was the artisan area built district built and yeah these all <laughs> have been happening after that i yeah it's been a while but uh you'll catch up so i don't i can't remember at all did we i need to buy, bought by this for handling those bales which are on the storage here and i'm just bloop putting stuff in here 
So we are waiting for good price and uh, the uh, pallets to go up to 34,000 liters. That's the magic number. Or 72,000, whichever <laughs> suits the price. So uh, at the moment we are storing the bales here, which we have. We got a straw and uh, hay bales and then we will get those silage spells also or I will get another shelter around that area but this uh, this was the chicken coop I believe this was earlier but the uh, other one it's uh, concerning the nitrogen thing so I put this manure production here because I think it nicely simulates that those chicken will make or produce manure also so i am putting straw in here and uh, manure comes out so that is a nice solution for the for the uh, uh, solid fertilizer that we need so much all the time but uh, yeah so we are heading now to the store and um, let's see what else we are going to uh, sell because yeah the process is process is optimizing all the time and yeah getting getting hang of things so it looks pretty good and uh, yeah i've been practicing <laughs> how to how to get those most efficient way those pallets to the cell cell point and uh, to the, to the uh, storages so yeah quite a few things on the uh, town has also changed um, well, not, not, not dr dramatic changes but anyway so I have made we can make a little just a little tour while we go to the uh, to the smoky store here so first thing is the uh, and actually the artisan list which is, is uh, producing all the time uh, a few pallets of different products but they really are not the big money income or anything like that so here, this has been a little, a little uh, facelift or <laughs> touch. So, yeah, flour. We are getting those and we're producing that quite a bit. And uh, because on the uh, farm production, we also do flour. So we are managing easily, easily the industrial bakery and this and our own. So. I am putting the uh, flowers over there on the storage and uh, with the forklift and then we are loading straight to the trailer oh it's a little bit crooked but anyway straight from there and sell 72,000 each time that that is full yeah so yeah, what the hell is wrong with this tractor why is it it got an update so now it's shifting gears a little bit different hmm I kind of kind of like it so here these are down oops I left them accidentally so I changed these pollards yeah saved a few lots on there and these are pretty handy because of the uh, getting the trucks or our Bertha <laughs> our that blue truck in here and selling on the market and these also were changed. I got uh, released few slots of, of, of these, and these are new, new uh, uh, garden productions. But uh, we'll see if I will set those garden uh, greenhouses at some point. I don't know. I am concerned about those slots. I got a 50, 50 three slots or 80 that I'm jiggling around on here but yeah it is it is what it is so 
let's go and check this out also yeah there's a little glitch on the mushroom production I don't know there's probably on the map little error because uh, no autoload trailer will recognize those and that uh, actually not more market stall sell point or anything like that so there's a little glitch on those I think so because these flowers are working just fine no no difference on there so as you can see and yeah th on the update I know this one thing you know the sounds when you go when you go like this near the uh, warehouses the sound stop <laughs> I don't know what it is. So, yeah, I've been selling here. I have been, have, or I have to sell a uh, little bit shy loads because, yeah, this is filling up pretty, pretty, pretty uh, fast. So, here's a nice amount of <laughs> money standing there. But I'm selling, selling those as we go and we go in. And this is a lifesaver, this guy, this trailer here, yeah, this takes absolutely everything and I think it it pretty nicely suits, suits to the uh, America team and the map, yeah. But this guy is uh, pretty useful, I will ju I'm just lifting by hand all the, uh, all the uh, liftable, what, what is liftable by hand, those pallets and uh, it's pretty fast yeah I used the auto load <coughs> uh, little trailer that we're gonna sell but that's, that's uh, that has no point at all because yeah I need to uh, you need to lift them a little bit to engage with the trigger so why not lift straight away to the truck and I can get a whole lot of more yeah I don't know what's going on with that sound thing yeah, so, uh, yeah, 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 and this guy here, there's the, uh, and sounds of, again, <laughs> so, yeah, this is the, uh, solid fertilizer, as we can see, 150,000 liters already, wow, we're gonna sell, I think we're gonna, probably, will be able to sell some of that away, but that is good money also. Yeah, but this is rolling pretty nicely, and I am doing uh, uh, in the morning sorting those pallets and uh, in the uh, afternoon or so. But uh, I think when when uh, my loan is paid out, I think I will put those straight to selling, and uh, let's see, does it make a huge hit? And there's the sawmill actually, yeah, on the uh, in front of us. But there's no road yet there, so that needs to be done at some point. And here we have this stuff here. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let's just uh, back this up in there also. And uh, I still, <laughs> I'm still not able to sell those goddamn containers. They are just a waste of space. But uh, yeah, I need to, I need to figure out something with those. Okay, so uh, let's go through these a little bit. So I leased this guy because uh, we used use this guy. Uh, the same in uh, the western farm and these are really good and uh, really versatile you know trailers so we are moving to these I will buy probably two of them maybe one one first and then another one and this these will go I will sell those that is leased so I will return it and buy one a little bit bigger maybe so and this will go and we get a auger and this guy is now pretty uh, useless because of the trailer that is working really really well we can sell that one and this is useless because the Berta, Berta is working really nice and 
obviously this one because of the uh, bales we are going to move in the bales so there's a little bit of uh, button pressing now so I won't keep you watching our repair and sell it and let's see how much money did we get yeah 146,000 came up and uh, yeah, pretty good amount of slots also so a little bit of uh, breathing space but now we gonna buy ourselves a little garden tools because probably so on the thumbnail we need to make our uh, own own um, house you know yard a little bit uh, more appealing and a little bit nicer because uh, yeah the before the uh, ground freezes through the winter and we got no time because we're just uh, Mike is, Mike is doing the his thing on, on there and it needs to be road and stuff so I need to lease this guy first you know a little bit of uh, uh, oh it's not here it's, it's here I think so no this one I will just lease this and then then uh, return it no plate so and a little bit of tools so um micro tractors these are pretty cool <laughs> so i can uh, just do tiny tiny work work at the yard so we're gonna get this one uh cheap 50 horsepower yeah we go with 50 obviously no, uh, no, no, that's... Oh! Wheels for, for plow. Do I need those? Well, uh, maybe I can then... Customize it later. Maybe we will go with these. Iron wheels. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we will go just and leave the colors like this. Mm. I think... I don't need this just for this ones. Yeah, so we're gonna lease that one, obviously. And uh, then we need. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I could probably go like so. Oh, three. So yeah, this one lease that. Not not too expensive. And then the leveler lease that also additional weight. Yeah, we can do it a little bit. Yep, so. I'll get those into the trailer and uh, let's go and uh, do a little gardening while we wait that the uh, grass is mowed. Yeah, finally got those into the trailer, so <laughs> the leveler was a little challenge I needed to give a little bit, a little push with the tractor so it would go on there hopefully it will come down easily let's see let's see I love this how this you know starts Oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now it's the right spot. Yeah, which speed? No. God damn. Okay. Maybe we will. Yep. There we go. Come on. Come on. All right. We good, we good. And we can leave this guy. Actually, I think this is a cultivator, yeah. So, but uh, get a nice, nice, um, even, even soil. And the plow, like so. And um, 
Yeah, I need to then find a, something to sow the grass on here, but I think I will start maybe even here and make it a little bit on the on the way hill also over there. We could uh, let's see, let's see what where do we go? Yeah, I think on the edge here, a little bit over the edge. All right. <laughs> I would love to have this with, uh, you know, home. <laughs> In real life. Let's see. Hello, create fields. Yeah, we will go just on the edge here. And lower. Oh, absolutely awesome. Yeah, this is this is pretty fast. It, se it seems fast. Right, so. Oh my god, we got rocks. And maybe even over here. to do with those rocks they are pretty ugly on bears so maybe maybe I need to take care of those and here and we can have a nice nice uh, you know border stones over here and get this yard looking looking just right Here then. Oh, oh. Yeah, I can fix those little bits with the shovel sh 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 if I need to. And then we are going to go like so. Like so. And then make another angle here. A little, you know, uh, boardwalk or what is it? Just right here, around the house. Yep. Beautiful. So I will continue this. Oh my god, now it's crooked with the uh, <laughs> house. I can't stand that. I need to fix that. Yeah, but anyway, I will continue this and uh, maybe we'll do just a little montage here and uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, that grass work and this stuff. And uh, we need to obviously windrow that field and let's see what we're gonna do after that
Okay, I think that was pretty nice amount of work done for today. And um, yeah, there's that sound bug again. So yeah, um, this I bought this Go Whale wrapper, pretty good, pretty good stuff that works really well with that jelly handler it's easy to wrap those bears but on the next episode I think this is the, uh, a nice amount of work for this one but um, we gotta do this sugar beet field it's ready to harvest so those has to be taken off the ground and uh, yeah the bales are here and on the next episode also I need to lay some border stones and uh, you know uh, bricks to the ground and then probably I can't return that micro machine yet because I need to probably fix some of this stuff here and uh, yeah we need to sow some grass on the ground also and here <laughs> here are the bales that we did so one 180 centimeter bale it was the old one on the uh, <coughs> the first one which was all setting on the on the uh, baler and I, I can't remember did I, did I said uh, have I said anything about that ver vermer baler because I bought it uh, a while back back from a discount it was something like 57 percent or something so I wanted to try that then also but always but they're a little difficult to try <laughs> so uh, 30 grass bales so you might ask why grass bales well uh, those cows we are going to get those <coughs> not fully grown ones the middle ones and uh, they don't need silage or any good food so so that matter so uh, I will feed them only silage what they produce so that's why we are starting with uh, with that grass for the young ones and uh, 87 uh, silage bales coming yeah. on the way and so and that silage on this uh, ferment we are gonna sell so I got this idea on the next episode for <coughs> for I'm not gonna build those just I, I will do it off camera but uh, those are cow barn and uh, yeah for something some shelter for the horses but uh, I was thinking while bailing good time for that so I will probably recycle this stuff this material here so all of these fences I will take away and use this wood and uh, wood also as much as possible wood also, also from this shelter here and uh, all of these fences and also from this barn I will demolish this and uh, <coughs> about this area I probably recording to slots and things like that so it's probably best that I will just uh, at this point at, at least uh, keep this as you know a uh, vineyard just just uh, uh, having grain beans over here and fertilizer and things like that and uh, move this all of this gear to uh, which I don't need here obviously to the uh, garden center because there's so much nice shelter and uh, those garages that are basically <laughs> just uh, just uh, are there so little so little use I can I can drive here back it doesn't have to be so close so, so I can utilize that so and also get the benefit from from that material wood material that we have here this old one and uh, we will those are not going to be uh, final final uh, cow barn so 
uh, shelters for the horses and things like that but I will uh, I will uh, develop those further but uh, just for this wi winter we're gonna do something with those so no further ado thanks for watching and uh, please do remember to subscribe and you will see what I come up with the next one and uh, what kind of um, area this would be so there are little things to do on the next episode and then we will get those cows in so thanks for watching take care bye bye